Yo, guys, is Solar Baka in uh, Korea right now? Because I bet I, if I was in Korea maining a champ and then it got fucking nerfed. <laughs> also, I think Overgrowth better here than Unflinching. They only got Maokai so far. Yeah. Uh, probably go Ignite. I just, uh, I feel like with GP, you have to kind of commit and Ignite him and go for it. Because if you don't, right. he gets away and starts barreling you again. And, and, like, GP was nerfed. Actually, I, I should pull this up while we're waiting. I thought yeah, it was it kind of easy to fuck up, too, uh, up until this point anyways. So, what were you going to say? It, it looks like they, they swapped a lot of his damage to have to scale off the crit now. So, if you don't build crit on him, it's just... You're not dealing damage. Yeah, so they turned him... Yeah, they turned him into that. But the other thing is they nerfed his base health. And his uh, health growth went up. But, like, his base armor's down as well. So your all in will actually get is, will get value. So the ignite's actually a really good choice in my opinion. Because when you go for the all in, it's not gonna be like, oh look at this motherfucker surviving now, right? Um, he also greeted, so yeah, your all in at six just kills him. Fun fact, because he didn't go bone plating. Don't you love being weak sided? Doesn't it make hey, you so happy, dude? Fun. Weak sided into you... a gangplank. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to sneak into the push. Yep. He might ward it. I'd back up a little bit to the back edge of it. Oh. If you're quick, fun fact, you can actually kill the ward when he places it. Did you know that? I can do it level one. Yeah. Yeah. I've done it. I've done it before. Yeah. I think it's, um, oh. I think it's, uh, auto q auto if you like respond super quick i think it's like a total mechanics test though and i think you have to have like a perfect auto attack reset to do it maybe not perfect but a damn good one because i'm i'm about 90 percent sure i've done it at level one we're liking this nerf already yeah. boy that's so nice less damage ah oh. Less damage across the board. We're chilling now, man. Yo, if you're watching this right now and you're not sub to the channel, why? Yo, guys, is Solar Baka in uh, Korea right now? Because I bet I, if I was in Korea <laughs> maining a champ and then it got fucking nerfed, <laughs> I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> this bullshit. I W that damage. It's yeah. worth. I'm gonna try to hard shot this wave. Yeah, yeah. Go for the bluff. Go for the barrel. You should have. You hesitated. Nice. Let's try. It's fine. Shit happens. Just die. Die like a man. Die yeah. like a man, dude. It's when you say shit happens. You can't freeze it. Like, just run out there and push. You can't do anything now. Maybe stays this low. Make sure when you go for shoves like that, you're real hungry to hit those barrels. This is yeah, part I of the matchup. Yeah. Mess it up. So when he Choke. first places them down, should I like charge to try to get it before yeah. we can? Okay. Yeah. Battle for it. Auto cue it. You have the auto attack reset. He doesn't. Right. Right. Go up there and shove. If he stays, he dies. Uh, he doesn't die. He's pretty healthy. But we don't care. Push. We don't care. He has no ignite. He has no ult. We don't care. Push. We don't care. He's he's like no sustain either. Auto, 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 get face rush. Auto. Ugh. He's flashing. He's flashing. He's clearly flashing. <laughs> he's he's running at you in a straight line. He's flashing. Right. <laughs> you yeah, gotta was, see it I coming. Was, yeah, I was slow. I, was, I actually was gonna try to flash towards him and ignite him and see if I could get it. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about flashing in that spot. Grab a longsword. 
Yeah, you got to see it for what it is. He's telegraphing his action. Right? Like, he's not right. walking at you under tower because his balls itch. He's walking at you under tower because he has flash and he thinks he kills you. And you also <laughs> failed to get phase rush fast enough. Don't panic, dude. When, you, when I'm having you push aggressively, like, it's because I'm confident that you can get out. But you have to play like you're confident you can get out. You can't have the gank come in and just be like, you, you, you can't go into panic mode every time you bump into somebody. You just stay calm and think about your exit before that happens. I would ping that GP has no flash and that you have flash hitting night and you want to gank. Go, and I would literally just go on him right now. Ignite him now. Whew. Jesus Christ. He has essence reaver. Yeah, we gotta wiggle we gotta wiggle out of the barrel a little better. Cause you do have phase rush that whole time. Uh yeah. Grab a Ruby. Who got the shutdown? You? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> hey. Hey. Team's carrying. Yep. I'll be honest, at this at this point, I would probably be uh, honestly being playing really safe and then just trying to get farm as I can, but with yeah. my teammate, yep. just keep on going. Yep. Well, there's no more play, right? Yeah. Try to work your way into the middle brush next time, like right now. There you go. I don't want to lose XP. Shivana might path behind this guy. Nope. See you board him so he pushes out but if you show right. randomly yeah gp's roaming i'd push up i'd push up and shove he's roaming e level up your e right keep pushing keep pushing gp's gonna go for him because he's a bot and he thinks he can catch shivana with ult so just or shivana's gonna end either way i don't care but he didn't rotate to her weird okay we can go behind oh. them then yeah Oh, push, push, hit tower, hit tower. We never win this. We never win this. These E's are messy. You should be clearing more than that. The E. I would maybe cut off the GP and zone him because you have phase rush. He can't just one shot you. Go down to the tri bush. Yep. Put a ward down and then go to your right to the golems. To your right to the golems. Yep. Ah. Okay, press B here then. So he used the plant to get over there. Zerker Greaves. <clears throat> Let's run right back out quick. When he puts a barrel in my face like that, I'm almost always going to challenge it. Just FYI. Okay. Like, all, like just in off of principle, you know? <laughs> okay. GP's probably rotating down. I would if I was him, so... Or he just reset. Take a plate then? I think he just reset. I take a... Mm, I would have taken it. I would have tried to take it. Good. Wow. Jeez. All right. <laughs> That's a crit and a half. Well, the thing is, he has stopwatch, so killing him is pretty unlikely. Mm, I'd shove first. I don't like this. Rotating without flash into... That is pretty unlikely to work. And Shivana so deep. She needs to be able to like... All right. Can we zone him off again? Try bush maybe? I didn't see his health. You didn't look at it. So. 
Oh, that's fine. Just try to get him to waste some time. Sneak into the middle bush. He has stopwatch, so all in doesn't work. I would just eat it. If he backs off, eat it. Because you want an excuse to find a back, man. Like, if you see anybody... I'd start backing right now. I would go behind tower and back right now. Right. You don't have to take every single range creep to base, you know? You could just let the tower take it and then get your back time. Because you obviously don't feel comfortable in this spot, right? Like, you and I both can tell. It doesn't feel comfy right now. Let's get back out there quick. Like, recognize when it's like, okay, I have no lethal here. Like, there's no play, right? It shouldn't have flashed for another, like, minute or so. Whip. Whip, whip, whip. There you go. Look at that. You just kill him anyways. <laughs> he didn't stopwatch. I mean, to be fair, stopwatch wouldn't have saved him, but... We should probably... Mm. You want me to go bot? I do, but not yet. Not yet, because there's yeah. no... Yeah, there's nowhere for you to go. I kind of want to... I want to take their, uh... Camp. Yeah, do it. You have phase rush to get out. We'll just check this there. We go. Okay, you have phase rush. I'm not that afraid. All right. Uh, press B and we'll go to mid with stride breaker. <clears throat> Since Velkaz is being weird, you should really try to assist ping Velkaz and get him to mid. Like, this is really stupid. It seems bad to me. Ping on the way to bottom. Like, you've got to communicate better than this. Like, you need to make right. it clear what you want to do and why. There you go. Even if you're an oh asshole. God. Because this is really, this is beyond yeah. dumb to have him down here. Like, he can't rotate to fights up from down here. He can't even side lane down here, right? He's 4-1, and one and he's trying to put himself as far away from the team as possible. Like, you need to communicate that. You do have flash, so... Okay, push, push, push. They're too, they're too wide from you. All right, I'd slide a ward to your left. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good for you. I would eat the whole wave. That's gold that we're not going to get ever now. I find it strange you're not using Q at all. Um... Was there a reason for that? You could have probably killed that inhib. Um, I I saw Maokai towards the bot side, and so I thought he was be coming for me, so I was saving it for a phase rush, but he never came. You don't need it for phase rush. You can auto E whip. Auto E whip. Right. Weird. Um yes. I would go. Also, if you saw no, Maokai but... bot side and when you were rotating away from base, why did you go into the jungle? Why not just hug uh, the right wall in the lane? You well, know what I mean? Yeah, because he like he he didn't come for so long. I assumed he at that point backed or something. Backed. Got yeah, it. I was like I saw him there when I started hitting the inhib, and I'm like, all right, he's gonna be coming. Well, either way, either way, you need to use your Q because you have a stride breaker. Like the the logic that you just gave me was a little strange. So right, like yeah, you yeah, have yeah. you have stride breaker, you have whip, so. It, it basically, you auto E and stride breaker. You're gonna get phase rush anyways. I'm going top. I don't want to go near this shit. Yeah. We're not stronger than them, and our team's dead. Take golem or take wolves. Take uh, Gromp. Kai's a 1v9, I guess.
You push up all the way to their tower. Taking in him early is bad, guys, but if you're playing in diamond, it's generally not that bad. I, I don't really... I'm making those types of claims for people that are in, like, platinum or lower, but, like, diamond with a team that's, like, snowballing, taking in hips fine because your team should generally go to Baron at some point. And it's not like our Baron take is terrible. It's also not like Shivana isn't going to want the objectives. Like, look at her champion. She's going to want them most of the time. I'd run away until I knew more, yeah. Oof. Random first strike. Uh, yeah, get him. Aw. Uh, you could have killed that ward, too. Lots of little misplays there. Oh, many micro misplays. We can get around this, though. Yeah. Yeah, he's dead. Hit the plant. Block him. Ooh, that's a misplay, too. Q E. Ha! <laughs> he almost got around the ult. Good choice to go back through tower. Ah. Whew. That's close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna heal up a lot, so what I would do is I would take Grom. Uh, actually, wait first. Wait first. You don't get the XP, yeah. Proof that Ezreal does no damage. I don't think you being up there changed much. No, almost got the last dash. Well, GP nerfs hit pretty hard, I guess. Because that guy didn't do shit. Yeah. So, how are we feeling? What's the difference between me and you? This isn't, uh, like old so 90s I, uh, rap references. Yeah, you're, you're definitely way more aggressive than I am in lane when it comes to that kind of stuff. So when it comes to, like, normally when I shove, I'll shove and I'll kind of, like, back up and not be doing much. And I should be faking the... The the proxy more often yeah 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 so what's Definitely. happening is what's happening is you're you're not being creative enough I, I mean you know i would have to watch more of sunlight's games to determine how much he's doing that but i would suspect that he finds those windows too you know right yeah. um because there's times where think of it like this he like you can't lane against gp right because he's fucking you with barrels over and over again right well, right. if you see the jungler's bot side and you get a push, go around him. Just go around him because that way you can get a back timing. Um, what is your opinion on, on skipping a non-cannon wave to get the proxy going? Say that again? Um, like trying to deal as much damage to like a small uh, wave and then getting around. Because so, I feel like a lot of the times when I try to get around for the proxy, I'm there too late and I missed. Too many of the melee minions and so if i was to leave my wave sooner to get there but I get, like you're giving up a little bit of the golden xp of that wave you shouldn't be missing you should be missing anything that often if you're missing like one melee it's not a big deal okay I, like, i'm probably just too slow then yeah you are because i had to yell at you to go you constantly yeah. will back down you will relinquish pathways all the time you do it all the time yeah you see people and you go, oh god, and you like run away. It's like, dude, you're Garen, you have phase rush. Like, I keep yelling it at you and I don't think it's clicked yet. I think the takeaway here is that you are playing a solid safe game, but solid and safe will get you here and not much further. Right. Right? Like, solid safe game, but there's just lanes and situations where it calls for a little bit more creativity because there's different places. Like, when you draw aggro towards uh, topside, and people are baited into diving you or whatever. You know, if you survive those situations, that's pe that's pressure for your team to use, right? To get things done. This right. old dragon meta, like, the more they waste time and chase you around, probably, you technically should be getting more value as long as you're doing it at the right times because dragon's going to get you more... Inf or is going to get you more uh, of a lead than before, right? Right. So, it comes down to, like... I, I like your rune page and everything on that matchup. Um, cause I've been experimenting with just like a full proxy Garen. And like, I think, yeah, with like GP and some of the range matchups, I think you're doing the right thing. You would go double armor, you would go second wind, you go door and shield, you do all those things. And then eventually once they fuck up, like the gangplank, uh, 
I don't know. I, I think he was like, he didn't back or whatever the fuck happened that allowed you to push into him. Once you have the, you know, the Berserker Greaves and a couple like Longsword d Dagger and you know where their jungler is, get away from him. And then just pay attention to the map. Take one wave, maybe take Golems and reset like we did. Because you don't want to be in a situation where you're just stuck under tower all game and like slowly hemorrhaging farm and tower damage when you could just get around him and then he can't do that anymore. You just can't. Right. And then if the jungler goes for you, you slam phase rush and just waste their time. And then your your mid laner unlocks a roam to bottom and your jungler unlocks an opportunity to dragon. They may not take it because it's NA and everybody that plays here is garbage. But it's the fact that you're setting up the play, right? Right. Um, but overall, like... I, I, I mean, I think if you incorporate this stuff, you'll see an improvement in, in win rate and just, like, agency generally, like, right away. It'll be riskier. It'll cost you games getting caught in strange spots sometimes. But, like, you're learning way more. And that's what it's all about if you want to get to high diamond and, like, crush anyways. Right? Because, like, yeah. you strike me as the type of guy you want to be able to just, like, control a game and, like basically get up there fast as fuck that's how right. i play right like i i just i'll do every little cheesy gimmicky thing to get my team little advantages even if i'm behind i don't care i don't care if i'm one in ten it doesn't matter right like right yeah controlling I'm the, learning. Controlling the, the game in lower elo is much easier than it's starting to get now yeah because the players know how to finish with leads and they actually know how to finish kills and right now you have to start thinking tactically about like, okay, well, another problem that you tend to have here is you're not thinking about your phase rush as an exit strategy for when you get ganked. Like you're not planning it in your head. You're not like, I'm going to bait this guy, phase rush and leave. Right. Like th that needs to become a part of your, your, your options. And I'm not saying you have to be as reckless as I play, but you need to start incorporating those moves more and be comfortable with like looking like an idiot. Because sometimes I feel like you're just afraid to look dumb. And like, brother, that's <laughs> that's how it's going to be. Especially when, like, games like the first game, or even games like this one, like, you're going to have to do some moronic shit to, like, draw pressure and get out. Right. Because that's just the nature of Garen. Like, you don't do anything until you get your items. Proxying and getting out is about the closest thing you can, and baiting people with phase rush is about the only pressure you can have you know short of killing somebody with like a full rotation so try it like explore it okay sounds good cool fun session man uh did you enjoy it today yeah it was great it was uh there's a a lot of uh the, watching it is a lot different than having it done definitely a lot my brain is a lot slower trying to listen to you and do it at the same time oh yeah i mean i that's why i do the niece gets coached so i can know what it's like right yeah um i would say i would say the, the first steps that I would take right away on your own is try to make it a goal for yourself to look for an excuse to get behind towers more. Like, just make oh, that yeah. like you're going for Like, just be like, okay, I see the jungle here. I see mid here. Can I get around this guy and just start just start exploring it? Like I said, you're going to end in the beginning. Right. Yeah, I, I think my the big issue with my laning is, as well is not giving up the HP to try to get that push going. Because I am yes. there and I have the healing. Yes, so that was the other thing. That's a good point. I'm glad you brought that up. Walk up into their face, you know, once you once you start getting control of mana pool and all that, you see, okay, he doesn't have ignite or he doesn't have his mana pool or he's low in hell, and just say, I'm going to walk up and just auto a few times and push and see what happens. Yeah. it's it, it, You'll learn your line. Uh, Expetu uh, calls it the int line, right? Have you ever heard me talk about this before? Uh, the int line uh, so like every recall. no it's a really good metaphor when we, when we did the boot camp we did the expetu one with him he was talking about split pushing and he had a, a really good analogy for this or, or, or just a good way to view it and it was like when you're playing these champions imagine that every situation has a line like an invisible line and if you cross it you die do you know what I mean yeah so with League, your goal with Garen and what you're not doing quite yet is you're not finding those those lines and going right up to them and not crossing them. Right. That's your that's your job. That's what the proxy thing would be. Yeah, you could sit there and stare at GP, or you could go around him, which will make you uncomfortable, which will make him uncomfortable. But it's a hell of a lot more. Uh, 
it's a hell it gives us a hell of a lot more options and it expands the game a lot farther than well i'm just gonna stare at gp and roll my eyes right and sometimes you proxy and then you stay for another wave when you were supposed to back because their support had died and their support is roaming to you but you didn't figure it out but you would rather find that find it out that way than just break even and not learn anything you know yeah cool um all right you have any more questions for me before i roll out oh wait nope let me out of oh yeah i can't load the replays damn <laughs> well let me share my screen real quick i just want to see if your point about uh missing a minion was because you were too slow I keep wanting to sneeze, but then I can't. Damn it. <sighs> okay. Let's do this. Come on. I should have a hotkey for that, too. Oh, it's main left. Does that work? Oh, I got it. Okay, cool. So wait, so it was like right here, I think. Uh, you see my screen? Uh, I, I only see uh, my screen. My screen. Okay, click above the chat window anywhere that's not a button. And you should be able to swap scenes or you could just stop sharing. I'm seeing it now. Okay. So it was fine. I think he dies once or something. Oh yeah, your team kills him. I think it was before this. You think it was? Of the, yeah, it must have been. It must have been. Yeah, it must have been. Let's watch it again. Was it really? When the fuck was the window? Right here, maybe? Yeah. No. That would have been a good window to do. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just go down, go like when you yeah. see him show up, just go down and just like, the thing is though, is that, I mean, it's a good window because of this. Right, yeah. Generally not a good window if the, the, the game is neutral. Right. Right, because if ye see, I mean, I don't know, but it can be, it depends on how fast you can, this is pretty fast. Like if you auto each minion, like you could do it. It's just ye shows up and you're gonna have to run away, you know? Um, Cause you'll get low, I think. But yeah, it's important that you try to figure it out. I guess you didn't have a... I, I don't remember where the fuck it was that we tried it, but we did try it. I remember. Right? We tried it in this game. Yeah, we did. Yeah, right here, right? Or we looked for it. There was one more time before that. Yeah. I, I, I missed like one of the minions. I don't know where the fuck it was. Was it... Did I have you try to do it early? early? I don't think I would have you do it that early. Maybe I did. Maybe because he was low. I think it might have been after this. Yeah. No. Maybe. I know he did something. Dude, I don't it know. Maybe it was the greatest game. I don't know. Maybe it was, man. Maybe it was just stupid <laughs> as hell. <laughs> It definitely happened 
today. Wasn't it? Did we do it in the second game once? God. I feel like I'm losing my fucking mind. I know we did it in the Graves game. It's it's still hard to do it against the GP because he clears the wave so fast because he had Issa and Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he got an early, early lead. Right here. See how you hesitated? Yeah. That's why. Look, look, yep. look, look, look. You hesitate a little bit? I would have walked up. Look, this is the difference. I would have been on the wave right now because I know his mana. I would have right. walked up. Auto, auto, auto. And then E the whole thing. So here you didn't auto. Watch. No auto, no auto, no auto. Then you're going to E. You should have auto, auto, E'd. Right. Then, as soon as you clear it, you just go like this. Like right along the wall here. Yep. And you would have made it, look. Because you kept saying how like you didn't you didn't think you'd get there in time. You would have gotten there in time. Oh yeah. And then the Zach thing, like, you wouldn't even have been caught by this, probably. You would have already been here. And then auto, 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 E it. And then if they come for you, you just ghost and you could you could literally run to wherever the fuck, really. Like there's no stopping you there. You just play football there. Right. Makes sense? Yeah. Definitely need to use my health as a, a resource more often. And, yeah, uh, just explore it. Like I said, you're gonna it. you're gonna look dumb when you're learning it. But there's a reason there's a reason that I I preach it here because you can't do anything else as Garen, you know. Light Rocket is a challenger Tarek jungle, so he's gonna teach me how to play Tarek jungle. He's made it all the way to challenger with this ridiculous strat.